Welcome to Comics on the Pyre, where everyone can come and indulge in all things comic related, whether it be movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, or just comics themselves. If you love comic books, then show it by hitting that subscribe button to help this precious media that we all love thrive and flourish. <laughs> It's okay, kid. Take your time. I know you're shaken up. Just remember, I'm here only to help. Let's roll back the tape a little, and you can tell me just what happened from the beginning. James takes <laughs> off his glasses to wipe away the tears. He hates it when his frames get all wet. He can't see a thing, and images get all blurry. But they weren't blurry that night. With a few forcibly controlled breaths, James gathers his composure and speaks. We were all just hanging out, playing truth or dare. My turn came, so I chose truth, and I told him about it. About what? What I saw the week before. Go on. I was home alone, and my dad was at a soccer game with my sister. I heard a noise from the yard out near the ravine, like a big moan. I thought it was the wind coming through the trees. So I ran to turn off all the lights in the house, even the television, to get a good look. And then I stood in the same room that we were all playing that night, and I looked out the window. And what did you see? It's all right, you're safe here. Nothing will harm you. Well, I told them that just that instant I saw this, this thing, standing taller than a tree in the middle of the yard. It had long fingers and sharp teeth. It seemed like it was walking towards the house. And just then, I got this crazy feeling that when I shut off all the lights, it got confused. I was so scared I ran and hid under the blanket on the couch. I lay there as still as I could, terrified even to breathe. It seemed like forever, but I did nothing but listen for any sound in the darkness, for a doorknob to turn or a bathroom window to shatter, but I heard nothing. I, I think an hour went by, I can't tell. I don't know, I was terrified before I had enough courage to peek my head over the couch to look out the window again. And? It was gone. And what happened next? I don't mean the time you were home alone. I mean the night of the sleepover. I dared them, if they didn't believe me, what I saw, to go down to the ravine themselves. <laughs> Welcome comic horror fans, I have a treat for you. In this episode, I will be going over a brand new series titled, Something is Killing the Children. Pretty self-explanatory, I would say, which was published by Boom Studios. As the intro depicts, a young boy named James is involuntarily involved with the murders of his classmates. Even though he is looked on as a suspect, you find out through the first issue that, sadly, their murders were not an isolated incident. Other deaths have been occurring in this town along with some missing children reports, which I would say does not forebode well for these children. But even stranger than the child murders, the authorities investigating the cases, they seem not to care. But luckily for the remaining children left alive in this town, it seems that an unlikely hero has waltzed onto their streets. Even though her true intentions have not been totally revealed, uh, I guess we'll have to see for issue two to find out more on that front. With only one issue out, I cannot definitely say where this series is going, but it's definitely giving me some Stephen King's It and the TV show Supernatural vibes mixed together. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Until then though, please visit my YouTube channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. Tap that bell icon before you go. And oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends. <laughs>